sexual gender-based violence. We call it a crime against humanity if we are to work towards durable solutions. And I'm so pleased that the authorities at the epicenter of this crisis are also here with us. And we hope that it's not just a conversation for conversation's sake, but the beginning of actions. The Center for Democracy and Development has been working on a transitional justice projects. So as one of our policy engagement, the need to actually drive attention, that is why we have invited Dr. Dennis Mukwege to Nigeria, because this is a work that is not just done in DRC, but is a work that is also been doing across the world. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Please help me welcome our guest of honor, Dr. Kinger. I can say that uh, tonight I'm so impressed by women and men together to talk about how we can address this question of sexual violence. Sexual slavery and rape are widely used as a weapon of war and weapon of terrorism. This is a painful reality in almost all conflicts around the world today. We need to share experiences to fight and unite against it. Not just hours, we need days to discuss these issues. Let us have many of these survivors tell us their experiences. Let's hear from them. Let them tell us what they want us to do for them. Those who have voice out to confess that, yes, we have gone through this. They can't go back to school, but they want to do some trade. So they need some empowerment for them to continue with some skills that they can get used to make money for themselves. I think one important thing is to make sure we have specialized training for every relevant sector. Everyone has to be sensitized and trained on the specific impacts and needs of this type of harm and these survivors. And one of the things that the women who uh, spoke tonight talked about a lot is the need for education as a way to find um, some sort of justice for themselves and not only a sense of justice but a way to move forward. It is my wish that this holistic support to survivors of sexual violence is considered not as a luxury, but as a human right to rehabilitate all victims around the world. 